I'd like to start out with a special thanks for FX Home User Data Design for both sending me these two images and allowing me to make use of them for this tutorial. My name is Mohamed Anish and today I just want to brush up a little bit more on cropping out subjects and discussing some techniques as to how we can probably merge subjects together. In the first image, we have someone who has already been keyed out of the background, although it doesn't seem that well done. You can see some of the background spilling over the edges and some of the context of the main body taken out altogether. Doesn't do much to hinder what we want to accomplish, but I do want a cleaner photo before I attempt to put these two together. So after loading the images in my canvas, the first thing I did was disable the family photo. Not a priority right now. I decided that I don't really need the entire image, so I positioned it where it sits, not showing the keyed artifacts. Easy maneuver, 50% of the job done. After that, I flipped the image horizontally because, in my case, it does make sense, and I began to work. Drop a white background so you can see the artifacts better. Pop open a vector mask and draw. The more meticulous you are, the better the result. In a job like this, it might be a good idea to be streaming music in the background. Check out Brother Ali, Uncle Sam if you're feeling hip-hop. Alright, so that's it for the image. I brought back the family photo and then swapped the subject's layer to be on the top. And then dialed down the transparency so I can see the kid's body at the same time. Then I went back, renamed the old mask because... It's cool to stay organized and popped open another vector mask. Click invert. For convenience, I threw an exposure effect and increased the brightness of the background photo just so I can see the outline of the boy's hoodie. I noticed that the hat was in an odd place, so I cut that out as well. And after that, I cropped the entire canvas to proportions that make sense and boom! And for the sake of some semblance of photorealism, I decided to throw in an artificial shadow. Pop open a black solid, dial down the transparency to see, and draw. And oh my lord, that magic is done.